Because I don't remember ever putting oil in it. So I think you followed the muffin recipe. Wait. But he must not. Those got holes in them too? Yes! The mice are have been living in our clothes bags in the garage and eating the clothes Ew. and pooping all over them. Hello everyone, today is Sunday and just want to give you a pre-warning. Later in the video we do have a shot uh, footage of us catching and dispatching a raccoon. So just want to give you that pre-warning. If that's something that bothers you, go ahead and turn the video off now. You don't need to, to expose yourself to that. All right, so like I said, today is Sunday and we got out to the barn today and cut down some of the trees that are up blocking the doorway and we'll have to take it around another day, finish it all the way around. Also went out scythe a little bit more of the trail and then gave up on scything and decided I would do the riding mower. So it's only February and I'm already out on my mower, trying to get that path all the way around our whole eight acres finished. So I'm happy to say it is mostly done. Uh, the paths are now connected. However, where I didn't scythe before I mowed, some of the uh, thicker like tree-like branches or vines with thorns on them, those are still standing. So I will have to go back out there with my scythe um, or my little knife and cut those things down. So, earlier this week, um, my son sent me a video, and he had gone back out in the uh, back acreage and sent me a video uh, at work of this. I'm not recording anyway. There you are, Cooney. Yeah, hiss, hiss, hiss. So we did, with our dog-proof raccoon traps, catch a raccoon, and um, as we stated before, you know, we have to get them out of our barn. You know, we don't know if this was the one in our barn or not, uh, I can't exactly ask him, um, but from, you know, now being Sunday and that being a couple days ago, I think maybe Friday, we have not had any more sounds in the barn of uh, feet scurrying across the boards or anything like that. We used to be able to go up to the barn door and just pound on it and we would hit it you would hear raccoon feet or other feet of animals scurrying up in the the rafters now we knew raccoons were living up there because videos ago videos ago we had taken you guys in there when we first uh got back out into the, the far enough out in the field where we could get in and we opened the door and we had no idea what we were standing in was a ton of raccoon poop and then we found the raccoon up in the rafters and and ran it off Little did we know it was just going to come right back, so it didn't really help us then. So, we, we when I got home, I did go outside and um, took care of the raccoon. I'll show you a little bit of that footage here. All right, I'm trying to be I'm trying to stare at the camera lens. I keep staring at myself in the reflection. Okay, right here, eyes right here. Um, back on track here. So we did have to take care of it. You know, we are we have to get the barn back. Our plans are that we're going to use it this year, maybe as early as spring, and we need to get it back uh, from the raccoon so that we can get it cleaned out and avoid any diseases or anything they may be carrying. I mean, their poop can carry roundworm, which can be airborne, or you can contact, contact it, uh, contract it from uh, touching it, and they also can carry rabies and probably other diseases that we don't even know about. But we have to get them out of the barn so that we can take it over so we can put animals in there, uh, hopefully this spring. So uh, it's unfortunate fact of life out here in the farmland and here living in Ohio, we're not allowed to relocate them. So that is against the law here. So we do have to, if we catch them, either release them back on our own property, which again will not solve the problem, 
or dispatch them, which is what we chose to do in this case. So back to the path, um, we have got that all the way around. So we're hoping, um, you know, because we are city kids, we do have our, our some of our uh, mindsets still come from that. We're hoping to get that cleaned all the way up and start using that as a running path around our property for now. Um, so we can get some exercise in and use that as a running track. Eventually those paths will also have a dual purpose because they will be handy in moving the uh, portable electric fence for the animals that we'll be getting so we can move them around the farm. Alright guys, it's uh, another brief video. I feel like I say that a lot. It is winter time. Darkness comes soon. I'm sitting in the garage light right now because as you can see, it's already getting dark. So yeah, I'm sitting here in the garage. Um, nighttime just comes fast in February and there's not a whole lot to, to do. We don't have animals yet. We don't have anything growing and I'm not planning on having a spring garden. I want a summer garden. So I haven't even started putting anything in the ground, but hopefully all that will change soon. Eyes right there. Keep focusing on the wrong spot. Hopefully all that will change soon and we'll have a lot more content for you guys to consume. And I hope that you will stick with us here. And if you're not already subscribed, please do so. Give us a like, give us a follow. And you can do that just by hitting the little subscribe button right down below this video. And we really appreciate you supporting our channel that way. It really does help us out. And we'll keep trying to give you guys this uh, great content. And our point of our channel here is just for you to learn as we're learning. Just follow along with us and see the adventures that we're going through as um, you know, a couple city kids with six children at this time uh, are trying to figure out how to live a more natural lifestyle out here in the country. So again, this is Rob with the Damer Family Homestead. Have a great day.